Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about this question. Um, this was a question actually taken from a, um, a paper produced by uh, PG Online, and it's basically to do with jigs. But I'll just read through the question. So a series of jigs have been designed from the manufacturer of the bird table. That's the uh, image you can see there in figure four. Evaluate the advantages and disadvantages of using jigs for batch production out of the bird table in figure four and it says there to use specific examples of how jigs could be used for the parts of the bird table or for the table parts in your answer okay now this is a pretty typical question um, and it can be applied although this is a very specific question talking about a, a bird table is quite clearly this question is talking about the use of jigs jigs are obviously a production aid and I'm going to talk about them uh, in a bit more detail but effectively if you get a question that's talking about jigs or production aids what you should learn from this uh, video is basically how to approach those questions because you'll find a lot of the things that you're saying would be the same regardless of the product that you're actually producing so it could be a chair or a table or something like this but effectively uh, if you're using jigs they will perform a certain function and a lot of this question is about understanding what jigs are and how they're used so this question obviously is an eight marker uh, it should take I don't know maybe 10 to 12 minutes something like that uh, if you was going to have a go at it so first of all um, what is a jig and why would you use it? So um, if you look up the definition of a jig, you'll find probably two versions of what this might be. One is uh, a device that controls the motion or a movement of a tool in relation to a workpiece. So for example, it could be a, something that holds a piece of work when you're drilling it or cutting it or something like this. And the other uh, example you'll get is a lively dance with leaping motions. It's obviously not that, okay? So we'll just... Uh, cross through that that is not the type of jig we're not talking about at the moment okay so it is a jig is something that controls the movement or motion of a tool in relation to a workpiece a workpiece being a piece of wood or metal or whatever you're drilling or cutting into okay so if we're going to make a product and it's going to be batch produced so in the question obviously it's a birdhouse but as I say it could be virtually any sort of batch produced product it's likely you're going to do lots and lots of operations or processes on that. So you're going to be cutting, drilling, uh, abrading or sanding the piece of work. And it's probably likely that if you've got multiple parts, you're going to do the same action more than once. And if you're making a batch, you're going to do the same action more than once for each part. And then you're going to multiply that by however many times you need to make the product. So every everything you make, if you're going to want to sell this product, uh, they obviously need to be accurate. So you need to set up these machines, the drills, the saws and things accurately because if you don't do that, components are likely to gonna get cut to the wrong lengths or the holes might be drilled in the wrong position or the sanding might mean that the parts are abraded too small or, or not enough to make them smooth, for example. So if you use jigs, effectively what you're doing is you're assuring, your quality assuring, uh, the various processes by controlling the movement of tools and the example I'm talking about here for example if you was drilling a hole and it had to be drilled to an exact depth um, if you had a jig in, uh, that, that controlled um, the motion of the drill to stop it at a certain depth then this would make sure that the quality is assured so you wouldn't have to check the depth or uh, measure the depth or set up the tool each time the jig would ensure that that's what would happen okay so in addition to assuring the accuracy of whatever process that you're doing um, it means as I said before that if you're making a batch of products and you had to do the same thing over and over again cutting parts to a certain length drilling holes to a certain depth uh, abrading or sanding edges off to a, a particular size for example or smoothness or radii or whatever it is by using a jig it means that these processes can be done identically and repeating the process wouldn't require you to continually measure mark out check set up the machine each time because that's effectively what the jig would do so I'm going to uh, give an example here uh, of a product there we go let's say you're making I don't know, a chest of drawers or something like that and you've got these little handles. Um, these have obviously been what looks like to be turned on a lathe uh, initially, but obviously one of the processes you're going to have to do is is drill the holes, for example. Now, again, you know this is probably done on a lathe with a, a center drill, for example. But let's let's say, for example, that this needed to be drilled over and over again in that hole in that particular case. Okay, and let's say that we had to drill it to a depth of 15 millimeters and let's say there was four handles on every cupboard and we had to make a hundred of these now if you think about that 
Um, that's basically doing the same drilling process 400 times, okay? Now, I don't know about you, but if I was doing a process once and I had to do it really accurately, it would take me a, a long time because I'd have to do lots and lots of processes, all of these processes, and maybe more, to ensure it's, it's very accurate. So I'd probably measure out where the center is going to be and mark the point, uh, maybe with a pencil, and I'd probably be quality controlling that as I went through to check it was in the right place. I'd probably use an awl or a braddle to uh, indent the surface to stop the drill from skating around or moving around when I'm drilling. And again, I'd have to quality control that it was in the right place when I'd done this. Uh, I then have to align the workpiece and clamp it down on a drill press or a pillar drill. And again, I'll probably be checking to make sure before I drilled that it was the, in the right placement. I'd also set the depth for the drill. So if I want to drill it to 15 millimeters in depth, I'd need to set that. And I'd obviously probably have to sort of check this after I drilled it. And obviously after drilling the hole, I'd be looking at it and doing all the checks again to make sure it was right. Now, let's say I didn't do it wrong. Um, there's still a great deal of work in that and I'd have to do the same thing 400 times and do it all exactly the same and all very accurately and check it every single time that it went right. Now I, I might speed things up, I might have uh, go no go gauges and things to check check the, uh, the, the, the quality controlling process but regardless that setup and that process is going to take ages and you know human error happens and uh, things aren't aligned as, as accurate as they could be. So if anything went out of tolerance, it would effectively mean I'd be discarding products, which would waste money, and it would waste time, because I'd have to make more than 400 products. I'd have to make up the products for the ones that didn't work. Now, if I had a drill, it's pro uh, sorry, if I had a drilling jig, it's probably likely it would be a case of just dropping this item into said jig, which hold it in place, and the drill would already be set up to the correct depth and all I'd be doing really is putting the work into the drilling jig and clamping it and drilling the hole, okay? It's gonna be a very quick process. I'd probably have a huge stack of 400 um, preforms for these handles kind of ready for me to drill and then I can just do them one after the other, which is a lot, lot less work than doing all of this stuff and perhaps more if you're going through more quality assurances or controls as you go through. So jigs seem fantastic. So why would you not use them? Well, uh, the only reason, or one of the only reasons really, why you might not use a jig is if you're only undertaking the process maybe once. So in the example here, I've got a, a like a tailored suit, but anything that might be a bespoke product or you're gonna only do the process once on. So in the case of this, uh, this, this tailored suit would only be the material or the fabric would only be cut once for the size. It's unlikely I'm gonna to want to use a jig, so let's say uh, a, a fabric pattern, for example, to, to uh, draw out and uh, cut the parts accurately because I'm only gonna need one copy of each part. So for the time I'd spend drawing the pattern, it's probably about the same time as it would take me to kind of mark out the uh, the part with Taylor's chalk. And obviously, with the case of this, you can see all these kind of marks all over the garment. This is where little changes are being made as well. So it's a, it's a one-off product, and the consumer's going to co be constantly changing it. So if we'd have produced the jig, and it wasn't absolutely right for the consumer, we'd be changing the jig, and then changing the product. So you, as you can see, it would be a complete waste of time there. So... For the time spent on making the jig, I might as well just make the product and check the accuracy because it will probably take the same sort of time or probably less time if I was just doing it by hand and therefore it would be less labor and therefore less cost. Okay, so if we're making one item, it's very unlikely we're going to uh, want to use a jig. I suppose the only other real disadvantages to using jigs is, you know, you're still going to have to check them, like you have to check every work, because if you continually use something, there's a chance that it could wear and the accuracy could therefore be uh, thrown out a little bit. But effectively, if you're controlling your the quality of your work and you're controlling the quality and the setup of the jig, this shouldn't really happen. So it's not really a disadvantage, I'd say, but it's something to kind of factor in. Okay, so... If we go just back to the question, this is what we're obviously doing. So uh, a series of jigs have been designed for the manufacture of the bird table. Evaluate the advantages and disadvantages. Notice it says and there, not or, uh, of using jigs for batch pr production of the bird table in figure four. So this one here, okay. And use specific examples. That's a key point there of how jigs could be used for these parts when you answer, okay. So it's, it's clearly saying there to give examples and to go through it. So if I was going to uh, talk about this question, I'd firstly reword the question in the answer. So I'd start with something like in this question. 
I will be evaluating the advantages and disadvantages of using jigs for batch production of the bird table. And notice again, I'm going to highlight the word and there because it asks for both in the question. It doesn't say or. Uh, finally, I'd want to, or moving on from this, I'd want to think about four or more advantages and disadvantages. Uh, because obviously it's an eight mark question. So four, I would say, is probably the minimum uh, when we're going through different points uh, to clarify good and bad points about using jigs. And then as I answer the questions, I always instruct with these things is to try and use the point evidence example or P model uh, for picking out the key points. And I'll give you an example in a moment. And again, vary your use of connectives to structure the sentences because it just makes the work that much more interesting and it makes it flow better. So if we have a look at the point evidence example model here, uh, we might start with our point. So I'd say one advantage to the use of jigs in the production of the bird table is that jigs can increase both accuracy and speed of manufacture. Evidence for that is uh, the use of jigs allow for repeatable accuracy and therefore re this reduces waste due to human error and would additionally save on labor costs. And an example might be a jig could be set up to cut or abrade the struts at the correct angle. And when I say struts, I'm talking about kind of these bits here, as you can see, it's labeled as struts. So if I was gonna produce multiple struts uh, many, many times for a batch, I'd obviously want to kind of uh, talk about that. And that's maybe one use of jigs. So there's the P model there, PEE, -E, point evidence example. And moving on there, as I say, get yourself connected. Uh, vary your use of connectors as you're going through from point to point. So don't just put one advantage is this, another advantage is this, another advantage is this, another advantage is this, because apart from sounding stale, it means that your work sounds a bit more like a bullet point list and not the sort of extended text response that we're looking for for a, a, an A-level student effectively. So I'd like you to have a go at this question now, and if you are kind of following along, uh, I'll pause just at this break and you can pause the video yourself um, and have a go at the question and then we'll look at the answers. Good luck. Okay, so if you've uh, had a go at the question, um, this is what the exam board would be looking for in terms of um, uh, your answer. So we're obviously we're going for this top mark boundary, hopefully getting eight marks. As we can see, it says it covers several, so I'm going to say four plus, and very specific advantages. And there's that word again, and disadvantages, not all disadvantages, uh, in detail. So you're giving four or more points, and you are using the point evidence six mark, uh, example uh, model to kind of ensure detail is presented in your answer. It says there, clear reference to batch production techniques and fully justified points. So justifying again is giving our examples and evidence. And it says, it says uh, the examples are linked to the bird table. So you wanna be referring to the idea of struts or the roof or whatever components that you're talking about might be doing that, okay? Uh, here's what, there's a whole range of points here that you could talk about, so I'll be leaving these on the on the screen for a little bit. But as you can see, as we've said, increased accuracy there. Um, there's the example cutting a braid and the struts. That's the one I used earlier on. But we can make several pieces at the same time. So you could cut four or five pieces uh, all at the same time by just stacking them next to each other and then running through a, a table saw. Uh, the jig in that particular case might be the fence that you kind of push the pieces of wood up against. We've got a reference here to increase in safety because obviously if you've got a piece that's secure in the workpiece in place, it's gonna be safer, it's not gonna move around when you're drilling or cutting or anything like this. It does allow for batch production because if we've got all of these stations set up with various different jigs, it means lots of people can do lots of different parts and then come together to assemble the product and even the assembly itself. It might involve some sort of um, securing jigs while um, work is being glued or it might uh, have jigs to allow you to assemble the product easier for the use of um, you know, mechanical fixings, for example. Um, in addition to this, obviously it's gonna save on measuring and marking out by using jigs and things. Um, you, you've got other benefits here. I mean, you, you might not notice this very easily in this sort of question, but obviously in, in some cases, jigs already exist that allow you to do certain things. So you might not even have to make uh, specific jigs if we're talking about um, drilling or cutting, for example. It, there might be things that you can just take straight off the shelf from another company outsourced and uh, use those. 
And again, here we go, it's, it's that reference to kind of high standard or repeatable accuracy that we talked about as well. So there's all our kind of advantages there talked about in the question. And if we're talking about uh, disadvantages, well, as we said, bespoke jigs obviously take time themselves. So we've got to weigh up whether we're going to make enough of the products or enough of the parts to warrant making the jig. If we're only making one thing, it's probably better to just mark it out and cut it or drill it. Uh, in one operation rather than making a jig and then going through all those operations using the jig okay it says here bought in jigs obviously add to setup costs so the you know jig production in itself you've got the materials and the labor involved in making the jig uh, and obviously we've got to still check what we're doing so although we've got a jig it's not going to be a cover all for everything because if we don't know how to use the jig or set it up accurately it's not going to be accurate the work we're not going to uh, we're not going to magically perform great work and then finally as we discussed earlier on you know wear and tear things do wear out okay so um, you'd constantly have to check the jig to make sure it's still okay um, and that will be part of your general practice as you're cutting through okay so if you answered this question effectively and you picked out probably um, four or more from uh, a few points from here and a few points from the disadvantages it's likely you would have done particularly well in this question providing you gave examples and evidence and you varied your connectives to make sure that your uh, question was fluent and understandable i hope you did well